And this one we have interesting. There's only two lines of assumptions. So let's just draw our imaginary thing there. And we have a negated conditional. It's not the case that if A occurs, B follows. And then we have the conditional that if B occurs, A follows. So on line 3 and line 4, we're going to have, uh, we're going to take apart a negated conditional. So on line 3, we get, of course, A. And on line 4, we get not B. From line 1, negated conditional decomposition. Then we're going to branch out to take apart our conditional, which is going to turn into on line 5, not B or A. And that's from line 2, conditional decomposition. So, not B, not B, A, it's fine. A, not B, A, it's fine. It's good. It's a truth functionally consistent set. You could have it be true that B, if B then A, and it is not the case that if A then B. That could be true. Okay, H, if and only G, G, if and only if I, uh, H, not I. For line 5, we're going to immediately branch on the line 5. And we're going to say from line 1, our biconditional decomposition. And if you look up your biconditional decomposition rule, what does that say we do for our branching on a biconditional decomposition? We list both possibilities, H and G, and not H and not G. Okay, so we've closed line one. So now let's do our uh, analysis of this line. We see H and not H. Immediately we close this line off because it can't stay. How about this line? Let's continue there and let's decompose G and I. And that, of course, would turn into the same pattern as here. You either get G and I, or not G and not I. Now here we have not G underneath G. So we're going to have to close that. And here we have I underneath not I, so we're going to have to close that. We're done. Closed. So it's line 2 by conditional decomposition. and We've done everything, and all the branches are closed, so that set cannot be true. If H occurs, I cannot fail under those conditions. Okay, the next one, we have a negated biconditional H if and only if I. And we have I if and only if J. And we have it to be the case that H fails. Those are our assumptions. So immediately on line four, go ahead and I'll you know stop the camera. You you stop and pause and do it. Now let's see what you got. Immediately on line four, we're going to branch. Uh, we're going to see. From line one, we're just going to go ahead and do line one first. Negated biconditional decomposition. So we get either not I and H or not H and I. One of those two possibilities has to obtain. Now, if it's this one, H and not H can't go, so we close that branch. But if it's this one, not H, not H, we're fine. So let's deconstruct I. So, oh, pardon me. Let's deconstruct line two. Line two, uh, by conditional, 
decomposition. We have either I and J or not I and not J. Now, if it's I, we can leave it open, but if it's not I, contradiction right there, so we close that line. So we have not H, I, and J occurring, and that's fine. We can leave that branch open. So we have one open branch on that truth tree. Okay, we're going to skip the section practices, because that at this point we practice what we've done, what we learned. But I think that it's pretty obvious, and I think we can just skip to section two. In other words, we're doing two sections in a day. Uh, so let's just go to section two and start. A, and this is, section two is just titled More Complex Truth Trees. So they're just introducing a couple more things. So A, if A, then B and not C is our first assumption. And then we have it is not the case that C or A occurs. It is not the case that C or A occurs. Uh, then we have C, if and only if, the failure of A 